Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Snowy Winter at Sheffield. Pretty bleak outside but it uh, doesn't stop us working. I've thrown uh, a two piece pot here, I'm just going to show you how I fixed it together. Uh, that's the second part, this is straight onto the wheel. Uh, this is thrown on the other wheel. I uh, hope you can see it there. And what I've done differently to some people is I've used uh, my fingernail and I've put a groove in this edge here and then on this part I put a point so that when you put them together they fit in together if you, if you measure them accurately and it gives you a lip here to fold up on the top and work on and uh, I've not had many split. Only ones I've fired on this side and the weight of it has split it. But anything fired upright I've never had a problem. This is um, just slip out the tray but I put white uh, white vinegar on in it. And the white vinegar etches its way in makes it a better, a better uh, join. And you're asking me how much vinegar to put in, you put it in until you think, well, that's a bit strong, that smells a bit strong. So it does evaporate, so every now and then I just squirt a bit more in. And so that's that bit done. Let's do this edge as well, just to soften it up. Let's talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. This has been left overnight to uh, harden up. This is um, well, my my um, my clay comes out of the pug mill. I cut it off in one one point two kilo lengths. This is three three point six kilos. This is two point four. So it's five kilos altogether. I suppose I could struggle and uh, throw a five kilo pot, but this works better. It's already taken that now. That won't come off again now. It's taken. So I'm just cut the top off. Just give us a wire. I'll just cut this bit off the top. Now I can get inside and work on it. And what I'm going to do is use a tool to score the edge on the outside. And rather than bore you with all this, I'll cut back again in uh, a few minutes when I've done that and we'll do the throw in the top. Okay. Okay, I've um, smoothed off the outside and I've just run a... Because the inside's a V-shape, it sits inside, the inside's got an inner rim, so with a, with a, with a, uh, a soft kidney I'm just running on the inside here just to smooth it up. And the inside's nice and smooth now. And just a question of moving the outside. I'm pressing from the inside out onto this kidney here. Just to smooth it. I need a needle. I have to put a board over this uh, water bowl here. I don't know if you can see it because the cat tries to drink it and then he throws up everywhere. But he won't listen. Won't drink fresh water, only drinks mucky water out of the garden. But he's found out he likes clay water. But unfortunately he doesn't like him. 
So we have to put a lid on the put the lid on the old uh, water bottle water uh, bowl. Yeah, so I'm just softening this up again now. And we just throw it like a normal pot. to get my beard in it. Come with this little wheel I've got over here, it's not as responsive as the uh, as the Alsager over the other side of the room. It's a cone driven one and uh, it tends to be a bit fierce if you, it'll just suddenly speed up. I have to think about my foot whereas on the other one on the other side there I don't even think about what's happening with my feet, it's just an automatic, just an automatic um, reflex like driving a car. I want to put a shoulder in here so I can get a nice some lugs on it. Just to push it in a little bit. Just folding it over my knuckle there on the inside. It's a bit stiff this clay because I've had to leave it to get stiff in order for it to support itself, but then. You have to battle a bit with it. You have to battle a bit with it to um, get it to go where you want it to go. Oh, we'll get there. Perseverance. That's got it. Use a tool, a rib to it's a wobbly one so far this. I uh, when I was throwing the base yesterday I was uh, I found some two little bits, well two centimetre square bits of uh, sponge that had managed to get into the clay and it's thrown it out a little bit. I took them out and filled the gap but I'm afraid it's thrown it centre out a little bit but we'll manage. Too much room on there. I want to take some off. It looks a bit, it's a bit uh, Grecian urn looking, and I don't know. Although Grecian urns are quite nice, it's not the kind of look I'm looking for. Not the shape I'm looking for.
this mould into a two piece pot. A little bit lumpy, but uh, you get the idea. put some lugs on this shoulder when I'm done. Now all it needs to do now is just trim this bottom bit off here. We'll leave it, I'll leave it a bit thicker at this point here so that it supports itself and then once the pot's finished I can then take that excess off and I do that by put my hand inside and I just put a needle in till I can feel it inside. So I just need a few centimeters, a few millimeters off there, a couple transition there. Can't see where the join is there, I can't see it. I can just about, it's about there. When it's a bit, it's not leather hard now, it's cheese hard, so when it gets to leather hard I'll just run a kidney over it and it'll just take out any of the um, softness here, it'll shrink in a little bit and it will sort of delineate itself again once it dries because this bit here is fairly a lot softer than just above it so it will slink in just slightly so I'll just take this this shoulder off here and that shoulder off there just to um, just to make it look like a seamless join and that's it another um, two piece bottle, uh, vase simple